In the last video, we added code to the keycard.vb scripting side. We added a friend method that we're going to access in a second, and we fixed up our or we fixed the sub if you had any issues in here and removed the data here. So go ahead and close this out. We know that the method we're going to call is load keycard data. And then what you want to do is we want to come over to the form and we need to create a button. So let's come down here so we can have some room to create a button. I know it's not the prettiest thing to look at at the moment. Let's come over to here to the toolbox and then find button under common controls. Add a button in and let's call it keycard data or user keycard data. So we come down here to text. I'm going to leave it as the default button one, whatever it's called. Next, I'm going to double click on this button, which should open up the code view or the edit view for the code. I'm going to save this just to confirm so that now we have our button. And then what you're going to do, just like the previous example, you're going to come down here where it says create a method on form 1 to pass data and display the form 2. So go ahead and you can either just copy and replace, but I recommend you actually type this in except for this content right here. So we can easily just come in here, copy the first two lines, paste them in, and then fix them based on the data set. So for this example, I'm going to do it as a new sample data set. And then resident row. And then go ahead and copy along with me on the next set. So you can either copy and paste and then retype, or you can type as is. Before we show this uh, or test to see if this works, so first what we do is we create a variable called keycard form and we create it as the keycard actual like form itself. So this is where we're creating a new object of it and that's why we didn't do an on load for the keycard itself. Instead we created a method where it loads the form. Next we do keycard form dot load card data and we selected row. So the current selected row returns the parameter of the resident ID from our query and then it generates this new form that we're creating. So if we go ahead and we save this and we run our application we should get an output of our key card based on the resident ID. So right now we have the ID of 1 so it's Esteban Seymour wherever he's at get key card and it gives us one result of where he's located. So if we scroll down and we click on 4, 
we get something. So 4 has an ID representative, but this might not. So 3 doesn't have it. If we scroll on down, keep scrolling down, click on 105. 105's got an example. And that's generally how you create all that. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, play around with it some more if you want to add additional buttons such as updates, deletes, or modify something where you don't actually want to see this top bar and you want to create custom fields yourself. And uh, have a nice day. Bye.